Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Let's Park It. Uh, I am here with my co-host. I'm Zach. Zach, and we unfortunately have a little quick episode, quick update. It's unfortunately not anything positive. However, we did want to release some news. And uh, Zach, I'm going to let you tell the audience (laughs) what that bad news is. All right, so Universal Studios extends the closure of all U.S. parks through May. Till May thirty, May thirty first. So May the entire, 31st. which is the right thing to do. We still don't have this whole virus on lockdown, so I understand what they're doing. It just hurts to hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna keep hearing that every few weeks until it gets better. I think but so too. I think we're not going to have anything happen they should for a have while. Just, they should have just done what uh, Disney did and just said indefinitely. You know, don't yeah. give people that hope that yeah. it's gonna. Like, Open oh, May 31st, yeah, May you know? 1st comes around, and here we go. Um, so I'll read the official announcement uh, so that way everyone has it, and we'll uh, let you guys get back onto your day. Uh, we are extending the closure of Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood at least at least through May 31st as we continue to respond to the current conditions and make, the, make sure the health and safety of our team members and guests are our top priority. This includes all theme parks, Universal City Walk and, at both destinations. The Universal Orlando Resort leaves hotel. Oh, sorry. Universal Orlando Hotel also has temporarily suspended operations, so we're not going to any hotels around there either for the time being. Um, they'll monitor the situation and make adjustments as needed based on the guidance of the health agencies and government officials. Um, in addition, though, they are taking care of their team members during the difficult and challenging time. Remains uh, one of their best and most important priorities. Um, they're definitely working hard for uh, to allow us a, stu- a solution to sustain the business. And it looks like they are team members are being paid 100% through April 19th, um, and then once they entered the more prolonged cl- cur- a period of closure, they're going to take additional measurements, and I'm assuming they'll be furlonged after that. Um, yeah. And then it says their pay will be at 80% of the pay after April 20th. Um, so that's good. That's good they're still taking care of their, their employees. I'm assuming coming down the road they'll make more uh, adjustments and that kind of stuff. Because, yeah. like I said, they're, they're doing as the best as they can. And this is what we need. To, it just needs to happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it just makes us love the parks that much more and when we do get to go to them there we get to like really get in there and just appreciate what we have you know yeah and then a a little added thing i read elsewhere is construction is still going on for universal oh it is it is apparently well let's hope because that's like the one glimmer if they're still having construction for um epic universe and we're still on track and we can still get this thing open because you know they there's that's so much money they pumped into that park. I think the most money in a theme park ever, if I remember. Um, yeah. And of course we want that. Um, I hope Disney. I, did Disney shut down their construction? I think they did. Yeah, I think they have too. So that means the Star Wars Hotel will be delayed. Mar- uh, Marvel Land will be delayed. Um, yeah. Hopefully not too long though, because it isn't that much of a gap right now like we can wait a couple months i'm fine with that as long as the parks are open and good to go and everyone's healthy yeah i think would be good yeah there's no exact opening dates for anything yet so no so and it's disney so it was gonna be delayed anyways <laughs> <laughs> um all right do you have anything else to add on that zach no just a quick little update J- yep just a quick little update on some news hopefully everyone out there staying safe um, we'll probably come with to you with another episode once we get some more um, new news. We will be having some really cool stuff on the channel for um, on the YouTube channel of all these cool 90s VHSs that Zach has just yeah. laying around. <laughs> uh, so make sure to look forward to those on the YouTube channel. Other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all kinds of stuff, and hopefully we'll see you all at the parks. In um, that note, are you ready, Zach? Let's park it.